Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. To my right is the open crew door of a TBM 850, which is one of the most popular selling high performance single engine turboprops in the world. We're going to take a brief flight demo on this with Nick Chabert and elsewhere on AvWeb, you can find an interview with Nick describing how this airplane fits into the market. Although it doesn't look like it from up here at flight level 280, we're steaming along in the TBM 850 at 308 knots, just as the book says we should be. How do they get this kind of speed out of a single? Well, it's simple really, a lot of horsepower. The TBM 850 is equipped with a Pratt & Whitney PT6A 66D with 850 horsepower. That translates into a quick climb to 28,000 feet, about 15 minutes if you can dodge ATC restrictions, and a cruise speed well into the 300s on an ISA standard day. Besides being fast, the TBM has a generous cabin that can be set up with club or forward-facing seats. It has a giant rear door for large cargo, and the part we like best, a crew door so the pilot doesn't have to crawl over the passengers to get to the cockpit. We took a trial flight in the TBM 850 from North Perry Airport on Florida's east coast. Okay, Nick, uh, we've taken off from North Perry. Time to climb. We're at uh, flight level 280. was about uh, 25 to 28 minutes. That would, that would be a lot faster unrestricted. Absolutely. 25 minutes uh, with all of the step climbs that we have to do on the departure. That was, you know, first east and then we had to go west. And unrestricted would be about 15, 17 minutes. Now, throughout we had an indicated airspeed of about 140 knots and the trues were well above 220. Uh, now as we've leveled out here, the speed, um, the uh, POA shows we ought to be seeing about 303, we're at 302. Are we at 302, we're still in about 6 minutes to accelerate, 6, 8 minutes to accelerate, and uh, we need to be uh, around 188, 189 uh, knots indicated to be about 308 uh, to rear speed, so we'll take some time. Now, uh, the fuel burn right now is uh, 56 gallons per hour, fairly typical for this altitude. A, a little more because it's warmer. It is warm. It is ISA plus 10 degrees uh, today. So 56 gallons is, uh, is typically a uh, warm for the fast your box truck. Now, at, uh, in this particular configuration, uh, um, consider a calm wind day, what would our typical range be? We took off with full fuel, there are two of us aboard. We have tons of payload left if we wanted to carry um, anybody. Well, basically, if you look at the chart, uh, which is uh, right here, uh, that would define our range with uh, a typical an hour. Uh, uh, so we'll, we'll be able to go all the way to Boston, uh, even a little bit more, uh, probably today with the wind. We'll be able to go to Maine direct. Uh, it would take us three hours. Yeah. Three hours, okay. So uh, what we're looking at here is the uh, the dash line is with reserves and the uh, solid line is dry tanks. fuel, yeah. dry tanks. Now you'd think a fast, high-powered airplane like the TBM 850 would need a lot of runway, but it really doesn't. With full beta range or reverse thrust, you can stuff the TBM into under 3,000 feet and have no problem getting it out of the same field, even at gross weight. In the traffic pattern, the TBM flies closer to Cirrus speeds than Learjet speed, so it fits even into a small airport with no drama. An approach speed of 85 knots over the numbers works well. And I think we just landed back at North Perry. That was not a maximum effort landing, that was just a typical landing. It's a typical landing if you are right on the, the speed and the parameters and the presetting of the engine, everything goes smooth. It's an aircraft that you want to configure exactly like uh, the big ones. You want to make sure that you're perfectly stable on your path. And you just set a torque value and uh, maintain that. That gave us about uh, 85 or so over the numbers. 85 over the numbers, 25%, 30% torque, and uh, fully configured, full flaps down, gear down. All right, thanks for the demo. Oh, thank you very much, Paul. Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. You can find a full review of the TBM 850 in the April 2012 issue of Aviation Consumer. Thanks for watching.